I've been told I can't talk about the black experience in America. Been told I can't talk about it in the classroom, in front of my college students, in my poems, because I sound less like Malcolm X and more like Nelson Mandela. <laughs> like this one time, after performing the blackest poem I have ever written, this white girl walks up to me and says, but wait, do you see yourself as an African or an African-American? Because I feel like you're more of an pause. First of all, you don't get to feel. You don't get to feel any type of way about my blackness, as if this black can be transferred like it was never conquered. I've been told I can't talk about the black experience in America because I sound more like T'Challa and less like Killmonger. Like, after performing another black poem, this black boy walks up to me and says, your type of black is not fit enough to talk about our trauma. You know nothing about chains, whips, or bullets. So, while basking in my rage and in need of some motherfucking answers, I decided that I would take the slave ship all the way back to 1332. While sailing the middle of the Atlantic, ancestral ghosts called my name from deep down the ocean. I felt their spirits pull me into the circle to cast a protection spell just so I could make it safe to the West African coast when I arrived. I saw Mansa Musa, king of the Mali Empire. I asked him, am I black enough? And he said, Wutuntum sen adjeni na. He said my blackness was thicker than blood. So he shipped me to 1892 where I saw Ya Santua, queen mother of Ejisu in the Ashanti Empire who led the war of the golden stool against British colonialism. I asked her, am I black enough? And she said, Beme na. She said my blackness was born in the midst of war by warriors that look like you and me. So don't tell me I'm not black enough to talk about black issues in America. When the drunk white girl called me a nigger in college, she did not go to Ancestry.com to fact check if my grandmother's grandmother was a slave. When West African immigrants, Amadou Diallo was shot and killed 41 times by New York police, they were shooting at his blackness, not his accent. This skin is prey for the dogs, regardless of which side of the park we got our training. And so in our blackness, I bind us. It's our ancestors' dying wish. <laughs>